hello everyone and welcome to my youtube channel so today i'll be doing the first uh, example in the tutorial of plexus it will be a calculation of a foundation uh, over consolidated clay so if you're into civil engineering just subscribe to my youtube channel it has the best content about civil engineering so first of all we're gonna start a new project I'm gonna call it uh, foundation. Okay, so before we start, we're gonna see what's said in the tutorial. So the tutorial starts here. This is our foundation. So because it's symmetrical, we're only gonna draw a quarter of our foundation. You can see it here. This is a building and this is the clay. So there will be three cases. I do three different videos about these cases. So first of all, we're gonna start a new project, geometry input. So here it is. Till here everything's okay. We're gonna press okay. So now we're gonna set and create the borehole. So as it says in this tutorial, uh, we're gonna create a borehole in this position zero zero zero. Uh, modify the soil layer and create the head of the water. It's minus two. So we've created the borehole. I'm gonna press here minus two. Okay, so the depth is minus 40. As we can see, it's minus 40 and it's the head, it's the water, the phreatic level. Okay, so the material is not signed. Now here it said we should create our material. We'll create two type of material. Okay, so this is the properties. First of all, we want to create the more Coulomb material and then a linear one for modeling the concrete. Okay, this will be a uh, clay soil and a building. So let's start. First of all, I'm going to create the clay. I'll give it the red color. Okay, so it said that the gamma onset will be 17, gamma saturated will be 18. I will not change the void ratio. The stiffness, the stiffness will be equal to ten thousand. Uh, Poisson's ratio will be zero point three. Cohesion will be equal to ten. The friction angle 30, the latency angle will be equal to zero. Okay, so here we're gonna leave it. The interface, okay, so we're gonna leave K0 automatic. We've created the first material. So it's set. Now I'm gonna create a new material. This one will be the building. I leave it in blue. It's a linear elastic model because it's uh, it's concrete. It's a non-porous material. 
first uh, the first material I've created was drained. Okay, so uh, the unit weight is fifty. As we can see, when I choose the non porous uh, here, there's no gamma set because there's no water in our material. Take the parameters. So it's. Uh, Okay, the poison ratio will be zero fifteen, and it's done. Okay. Okay, so I didn't create it quite well. There's the. So here it's. 75 and 75 so now I'm gonna rechange the boundaries file uh, project properties 75 and 75 okay so now it's more like this tutorial okay so we've created the material here so now we're gonna define the structure, the structural element. So we finish, we finish the soil modeling. Now we're gonna finish the structural modeling. So first of all, we wanna modelize the the building, this rectangular object. So how do we do it? First of all, we're gonna Okay, so it was here. We're gonna draw a surface. These are the coordinates of the surface. So I'll put create surface. I'll put four point. The first one is zero, zero, zero. The second one is 0 18 0 the third one is 18 18 0 the last one is 18 0 0 so 0 18 0 18 18 0 and 18 0 and 0 so it's done we've created our surface so now we should extrude the surface at a value of minus 2 okay extrude minus 2 apply so we've created this volume and the surface so we can delete the surface by pressing on delete or simply by selecting it from here and deleting it okay so now we are gonna assign a material to uh, we are gonna assign a material to our uh, building it will be this material the building in this tutorial we are not gonna put a structural load or a, or a load on our structure Okay, so we finished the, the drawing of our building. Now it's time to generate a mesh. So when we enter the phase of generating a mesh, we can no longer uh, change anything in the structure. In order to change anything, we should return to this tab here or this tab. Okay, so I generate a mesh. We can see our mesh from here. Uh, 
Okay, this is our building. I'm gonna close it. Okay, so uh, there's no water flow. So we're gonna go to staged construction. Here we're gonna put an initial phase. Okay, so it's K0 procedure because we have a plain structure here. So, okay, it's K0, we're gonna leave it like this. Okay, we will change the. Okay, it's changed. Okay, so now we're gonna add a phase one. Okay, so we'll take off the building here. I'm gonna add a phase here. I'm gonna name it building and turn on the building here. Okay, so the calculation will be start from initial phase, plastic, and phreatic level. Okay, so plastic. Phreatic level because there's no flow of water here, then it's finished. Okay, so now we're gonna. Okay, so we didn't specify a node. I'll specify a node here for the displacement calculation, it will be this one. So I'm going to start the calculation. And so uh, my laptop is a bit is a little bit slow. Calculation, okay. So here we can see the results. Total displacement. So here there's something wrong with my calculation okay so I found the problem I didn't take off the building here from phase one so I switch off these two faces uh, these two phases and I restart the calculation okay now I go to results choose the building phase as you can see here the results are more plausible if see we've seen the deformation here here there's no deformation so uh, what we've done is correct here we can see the total displacement here we can see the stress on our soil So this is it for this tutorial, let me know in the comment box if you need anything, thanks for watching, see you in the next video.